knowing how a float type small engine carburetor works and the basic components of it is key to being able to repair or rebuild your own small engine carburetor this one came off of a six horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on a generator it is a horizontal shaft engine that this one goes on a lot of these carburetors are going to be similar especially with Briggs and Stratton first off when you look at it the side that bolts up to the intake on the engine is right here this end right here was bolted to the air breather if you look at it from the outside you see a butterfly on the air breather end and a butterfly in there on the intake end basically this one right here is your throttle butterfly this one closest to the air breather is your choke this is your fuel inlet most of them be a quarter inch that you'll see the uh, throttle butterfly hooks to this lever right here and it has a rod that goes to the governor on the engine that controls this some engines have a control that you control the throttle on it and it'll open this some engines automatically does it according to how the governor set if you look at the bottom of it this is the the float bowl inside here is a float that you'll see in just a minute this bolt that holds the bowl onto the carburetor also has a jet in it that feeds fuel up to the throttle body you can see the little jet in there fuel will feed through this hole at the bottom and will come up through this middle hole basically a carburetor works off of a vacuum as your engine's running when it's on the intake stroke when that piston's coming down and the intake valve is open it's drawing a vacuum and that's what draws the air through the carburetor and feeds the fuel up through the bowl into the throttle body as you remove the bowl if a carburetor's been sitting a while you'll see a lot of gunk in the bottom here this holds the fuel there's a rubber o-ring that seats on this ledge right here that seals the bowl to the bottom of the carburetor and this you see right here is the float at this hinge you'll see this little metal valve right here whenever you take the pin out of the hinge on the float be careful not to lose that so we're going to hold everything in place and just pull the pin out sometimes you need a pair of needle nose pliers to get it out sometimes you can get it out with your fingers now the pins out pull the float outwards like this and that needle usually come out of that little channel on the float this is what you hear referred to as the needle and seat the needle and the seats in there that's where the, the fuel comes in through this needle and seat this operates as a valve to control how much fuel is coming into the float bowl this float monitors how much fuel is in that bowl and makes it to where it don't flood itself out the seat sometimes is made of this plastic rubber polymer type material sometimes you'll see them made out of brass the needle and seat meets together and that's what controls the fuel flow the fuel comes into the carburetor bowl and as the carburetor bowl has fuel in the bottom of it this bolt that has the main jet in it the fuel feeds through the bottom of that and it's drawn up through this this valve this jet feeds in through the center of the bottom of the carburetor and it's drawn up into the throttle body and mixes with the air and which draws into your engine to make it run you'll see some different types of chokes on different small engine carburetors this one right here particularly 
is a manual choke. You manually position it to which position it needs to be in, whether it needs to be closed, partial, or full, or wide open. This is more common on generators and air compressors. Push lawnmowers will have, a lot of times will have a linkage that works automatically to adjust the choke. It goes up, has a linkage that goes up towards flywheel on it. You just unbolt it from the top when you remove the carburetor. Riding lawnmowers usually have a throttle cable, which you control how much throttle you're giving the engine. And it'll be hooked to governors and stuff too, to not allow it not to over, over rev. But whenever you, it'll have linkage and stuff hooked up when you push that lever all the way up, it'll close the choke then. Then when you pull the, the throttle back down, it'll open the choke back up. I hope this gives you a little understanding on how a small engine carburetor works. It has the float type carburetor. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel.